those three days. Um, today is going to be 30 sliders. I'm a little bit of a hurry today because I have work uh, 30 sliders today on my target and that's going to be it. Uh, and, I, and I was going to really think about learning the knuckleball. I don't know how to throw it, so I'm going to make a YouTube short right now. Yeah, so there's some videos about the knuckleball. I do want to learn the knuckleball. It's a really, really nice pitch to learn. You can't have any spin on the ball. It just goes flip. So, okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to get my pitch. Then after that, I'm going to uh, do 30 sliders. And then run around the park, and that's going to be the day. Blake Schweihart. He swings. And... <laughs> See it. The bats. Waves of that pitch. Wakefield's... Boy, that was a terrific knuckleball. That one got up to... Now I'm going to throw one slider at my target so I can put in YouTube shorts. So what's up guys, I'm going to throw 30 sliders today only. I'm a little bit of a hurry. I'm going to throw 30 sliders on my target and that's one thing I'm doing. Resident Evil came back with a brand new fresh perspective like this shit's good but no fright my appetite was something more like this to get spooky environments to feel more real than horror movies Capcom came back to the roots knew somebody had to fill them shoot got that 1080p 60 fps I haven't been this chill since I ate that jail sandwich please don't you go get it twisted it might be fps but it ain't shifted it brought back novelties like item management low ammo count means scavenging environments got them item based puzzles back too except they're easier than shit damn dude and there's a lot more stealth but it doesn't really help that without vr you can't peek around shelves oh no they made a look like re but under
underneath it all, there's a story to see. Now I'm looking back at the things that I've seen. Look them in the face and say, I know where you live. I know where you live. I know where you live. Oh, no, no. Young Jakey, bring the fire, bring the bullets, bring the pocket knife too. All these guns make me feel like I'm in bad boys too. I'm a real bad dude with a shotgun to the boom stick in this game among the best I view. Chick, pow, chick, boom, baby chicken got spooked. Just kidding, I'm not just kidding. I, I poop my pants, but only like 60 times. If I poop nine more, that's a 69. Okay, I'm loving how this game feels, but I don't love the boring enemies. I've been real. The old game's got more enemy variety, but now I only get the molded saying how to be no patience for the hot and sick unless it's image in heat mm, what your ass said when you scream at me the voice acting is surprisingly quality given the qualities previous games had problems in quantity Marking up the competition far as i know this can outlast outlast for show the kind of terror that sticks with you on a level beyond what jump scares do it ain't perfect it's flawed but it's a damn good new fresh start for a series so close to my heart Take a tender break. And I'm gonna run around the park. So that's always so much. It's always so much fun to run. Okay. All right. Better start now. To get over. Okay. One, two, three. It's not what I expected, but the story had me chilled by the end. I've read the VR is insane, so maybe play that with a friend. I've got my gripes and shit. So things I would have changed But it's a solid 8 out of 10 Because it's a great game Stay shout out to my good friend Terry Fuck around and his ass can scare Oh god Okay guys I'll see you guys tomorrow Bye bye I need to get big Get some Powerade Right there <laughs> You can see in the camera Take a breather.